The South Korean military says North Korea has fired at least 10 missiles, one uh, ballistic weapon flying across their maritime border for the first time. Air raid sirens sounded on a remote island controlled by Seoul off the peninsula's eastern coast. The latest launch came as Pyongyang called for an end to current South Korean and U.S. Air Force drills. Speaking at a news conference, the Japanese Defence Minister condemned the launch. These actions by North Korea threaten the peace and stability of Japan, the region, as well as the international community, and are utterly unacceptable. They violate United Nations Security Council resolution. We strongly condemn North Korea and have made a solemn protest against these actions via diplomatic channels in Beijing. Live to Seoul now then to speak to our correspondent Jean McKenzie. Jean, what is the latest? Well, it's really this one missile out of the 10 that we're focusing on. It's this missile that was fired towards South Korean waters that landed in international waters, but off the South Korean coast, less than 40 miles, 60 kilometers from the South Korean coast, in between it and a, a small remote island off the east coast. And this is the first time that the North Koreans have ever fired a missile in this direction. Normally, they fire them more out to sea. So. It is an unprecedented move and it is certainly being seen as more serious than some of the other launches that we've seen recently, more of a direct threat to South Korea. I mean, the fact that you had residents on this small island this morning receiving these um, air, right, air raid warnings and having to seek shelter shows that it sort of more, more directly uh, affected the, the South Korea territory. And tell us why this has happened, do we think, today? Well, North Korea has blamed South Korea and the United States for a series of military exercises that they have been holding. Now, these military exercises have been going on for the last three months. The South Korea and the United States say they're holding these military exercises because what do they see as an increased threat posed by North Korea, they see that these exercises are routine and that they're defensive. But Kim Jong-un doesn't see them this way. He thinks that they're incredibly provocative. He sees them as proof that his enemies are preparing to, to, to invade and therefore responds. There is also timing here as well, which, you know, many here are saying that this this is insensitive timing because, of course, South Korea is still in a period of national mourning at the moment following this weekend, that terrible crowd crush that we saw that killed 150 young people here in Seoul. And reaction from South Korea to this? Has there been any yet? Yes, yeah, South Korea this morning is angry. The military have called this launch intolerable. South Korea's president has gone even further and called it a territorial invasion. Although, of course, the missile did land in international waters, not South Korean waters. So really, this is a sort of strong rhetoric from a president who has promised to take a hard line on on North Korea. But the North Koreans, you know, ha have said in recent days, they, they issued a warning to South Korea saying that South Korea would pay the most horrible price in history if these military exercises continued. Now that is being seen as a veiled threat that it would use nuclear weapons against South Korea. And we know that North, South, North Korea has been preparing and, and is almost ready to test another nuclear weapon. This would be the first time that it's done this in five years. We know the preparations for that test are complete. Uh, it, it, we just think that North Korea is waiting for the right moment to do this.